Welcome, this is Danny G Vibration reading for the Cancerians for the first quartal of the year 2017. And this is the sun, moon and rising sign for the Cancerians. Please remember to listen to your sun and moon and rising sign. This is the first three months of the year 2017. And we begin with the, with the first quartal. And this is the energy for the hierophant and the energy from the hierophant is so wonderful so fantastic is the energy of the heart energy and this is good because it has the yellow color and you will begin the first quartal for all the creative people with wonderful energies of the yellow color and this is powerful the first quarter is going to be a focus on um discipline with other people discipline and organization connection and working out karmas in organization in your life this is wonderful because whenever we learn this sort of a thing and learn and connect with the, the, the universal system and the stars of what is happening, you will understand that these are good, good um, things to learn how people survive in organization. And this is really good and powerful because what will happen is that you will learn to how to cooperate with other people. The month of January brings the energy of justice. So the month of January has the energy of justice, but you'll be working with the energy of the hamper. And the energy of the emperor, this is wonderful because what is happening for you guys, you have justice and working with the emperor, the energy of the emperor is going to be success and achievement for a lot of you people out there. If you are a father, you're going to realize how good you connect with um, um, your kids and that sort of a thing. This is wonderful because what is happening is that if you had a lawsuit or if something happened with um, your family, of that sort of a thing your father had a lawsuit or you had a lawsuit um against someone for your father it will be very good and you know trustworthy people are going to come in and help you if you had a situation with your work or with your boss or with people situation help is going to come in this is going to be trustworthy people who you are able to trust and this is just going to be wonderful for you guys and this you know this is wonderful because because all most of the um, water energy people have the energy of this sort of energy. So, you know, a lot of achievements are coming in for you cancer people. And they're going to be trustworthy people who are going to help you in, in, in certain situations in your life, which is good. And especially for the man, these are going to be powerful um, people who are going to help you with what it, whatever situation that is going on. So this is good for all you Cancerians men out there. For the women, you're going to um, find people to connect with who are trustworthy and who will help you with something that is going on with the energy of justice. The energy of justice, it doesn't have to be you're working with something. You could be having a conflict, a, a huge conflict in your life. And you're going to realize that in January, people are going to help you with this sort of a thing okay as i've already said that you can see needs to let go of things and need holding on and things and whatsoever were happening to you in 2016 um a couple of people who are going to come in and help you out but be aware uh you create more karmas okay Wonderful. In the month of February, the energy is an earth energy and it says the Empress. The Empress brings in abundance, but it's a fertility and she's also a nurturing person. Whatsoever is happening, this is good because the energy of the sun is here. And, you know, it's like um, some of you women will be placed in the sun, in the light, in, you know, some of you people are going to have a lot of achievement. Some of you women are going to have a lot of achievement. What I see is happening here also is that some of you women will be getting pregnant. So there are a lot of achievement for you women in the month of February. So as I look at this, this is just so wonderful because the energies uh, 
the, the sun is wonderful because the sun is bringing new energy and new vibration. The sun is actually um, lightening up whatever was happening because something happened to you guys that really break you down in 2016. There was a situation that you have. But as I'm looking at the energies for you guys, it's picking up and, you know, a lot of people are going to help you with whatever situation that you were dealing with. And in the month of February, and this is, this is very important for a lot of women out there and the men, you are this, you know, the energy of the sun is going to come in. If you were looking for a woman, you're going to be connected with someone who's going to be extremely good. Somebody who is going to be nurturing. It's going to be a wonderful relationship for you guys. It's going to be a good relationship. If you were looking for a female, um, as a partner, you're going to um, connect with someone. For the women, your financial situation, abundancy, whatever you need in your um, materialistic uh, possession and that sort of a thing will be granted to you. So the Empress is going to help you women in this month. It's, 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 it's good. And I, again, people, you... The fertility of February is here and I've seen a baby. So a lot of people are going to get pregnant. Be aware of this because the energy of uh, um, women and babies. And if you are having a situation with your child, you need to um, heal the situation because this needs to um, be looked at. This is wonderful. This is a powerful, good energy, I should say. I... This is wonderful for the women. So you can Cancerians, whatever is happening, if you um, have a lack the last couple of times with your, um, you know, getting around, um, financial abundance is just going to come in your life. And not really financial abundance, but you're going to get help from a lot of different sources that is going to help you in your life. As we look at the month, of uh, March is a wonderful month because the, that's the water energy, a lot of water energy, transformation, a lot of water energy and transformation. And there is going to come to an end to all the negative energies that is around you. Okay. So for the people who were being blocked and who got caught up in some negative energies, what is going to happen is that there is going to be a transformation. The obstacles are going to end in your life. Okay. So this is good. This is absolutely good. This is fantastic. This energy, whenever, whatever obstacles that was blocking you is coming to an end. This is beautiful, beautiful energies because what is happening now is that the clarity is clear. Your way is clear because a lot of you people were going through stuff in the year uh, of 2016. You have gotten yourself caught up in a situation. And in January, um, there are people who reach out to you and try to help you through a situation. And in February, your, your, your needs, your materialistic needs are going to be fulfilled. And um, in March, you're going to see that all the box, uh, all the obstacles are now being lifted. So again, I want to say to you, um, Cancerians, whatever that you had gotten yourself in, and this is it, because sometimes you guys got yourself in things that, you know, you're trying to fight for something and you are not aware what the consequences is. And you have gone through a karmatic situation that you have brought on yourself and now it's coming to an end okay it's coming to an end and this is good because it's a lesson what you guys had to learn you know it's a lesson that um you cannot do certain things and try and get away with them because it never works out you know whatever you did have a consequences and in 2016 that was but in the month of march it's going to the um, blocks and the end of obstacles are going to be moved away 
your focus from um, the energies of the focus is going to be release, release, let go of the past and ending that makes way for new opportunities. Time to move on. So again, your focus is release, let go of the past and ending new opportunities will now begin because something that you were holding on to something that you held so tight to yourself and something that you have, you know, you have gone through certain things in your life. Uh, and, um, you know, this is wonderful because you are justified and, you know, you're very, um, this gives you the thing and it's clarity and you know this is wonderful for you guys so release whatsoever you're holding on to release and understand whatsoever you have gone through the universe is going to send you help this is wonderful because whenever the universe does that it it helps you to understand okay you have the energy of the moonlight so a lot of you guys need to connect with the moonlight because, you know, you guys have gone through certain stuff and you need to cleanse your energy now. You need to cleanse your whole erratic feel. You need to, you know, um, cleanse yourself from whatever what was going on because the energy of the moonlight, the energy of the moonlight is always the feminine aspect and what is happening is that with this feminine aspect of you and the cleansing of whatsoever that was happening around you, it's wonderful because what's what you're going to realize is that uh, um, things start to change. Things really started to change. So this is good for you guys because as you let go of the past, you're also cleansing your energy vibration. And this is wonderful for you guys because by doing this, you will realize that after you let go of the past, a lot of stuff will be cleansed. And this is good. So, you know, this is wonderful. I think this is this is one of the energies that we really, really need um, to understand that release in the past is a much better for a better future for you guys. Uh, so, you know, the energy of the first quarter is going to be releasing of the past. Okay. You need to release the past. Okay. And by releasing the past, then you will see a better future. You need to release and let go. These are wonderful energies as I'm going to check to see your last energies because the moonlight, the moonlight, you know, and this is it. I want to explain to each and every person that the moonlight is so wonderful. The moonlight is a time, especially if there is a full moon and, and that sort of a thing. It's a time when you go and you connect, you, you cleanse your energy in the moonlight. And it says your intuition allows you to see beyond the um, madness and the mundane logic and the anal and analyzing um, followed by. So this is good because what is happening is that the moonlight beckons you. Come and trust your intuition to lead you into places that may never seem logic. Your anxious will be right on target. And, you know, never second guess yourself and allow your intuition to help you to go the distance. This is a good time to um, work, to read between the lines and to see the order in the system and the divine um, information that you will be getting out of it. Remember that the language of the intuition is a symbol, is a symbolical one. It comes um, via the subconscious and via your intuition. So this is wonderful, wonderful, brilliant energies for you guys um, for this first quarter. And as I look forward and I'm going to check out your last energy, chaos and conflict. So, I know I have this 
I have this energy, um, chaos and conflicts for some other sign. And this is, this is, this is good. And it's, you know, you got chaos and conflicts and co-create. And this is good because you got, <laughs> this is wonderful. I, I was like, chaos and conflicts, nay. but it is a message that the universe wants you to know chaos and conflict this is this is really good because something is happening and chaos and conflict so whatsoever you have you 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 whatsoever was going on in the year 2016 that created chaos and conflicts and by co-creating with someone else because the energy of co-create is also here by co-creating with someone else what is going to happen is that um the the energies will be cleared up and this is this is this is this is extremely good for you guys because with chaos and conflicts uh, we remove what energies what blocked energies were there and we kind of understand that we have costs and s you cause this chaos and conflicts because you're you're working out karmatic situation with other people but you know sometimes people think that they can create all these things to really vibrate and bring up the energies and that sort of a thing but it is really cleansing chaos and conflicts is cleansing and the co-creator source creator came in so, you know the co-creator came in to cleanse and remove all these energies and this is this is extremely good so you know this is a very very wonderful time this is a good time to understand what is going on in your life and that sometimes by cleansing by by working together by co-creating and working together and understanding what is going on in your life and that sometimes we ourselves create the the the, the conflicts around ourselves uh, and with other people because you need to learn lessons and it was a time that you needed to learn a lesson and it was a very hard lesson because a lot of stuff happened because um, a lot of stuff happened in 2016 you were just set on the side and you know this is what is happening whenever we do these things there are lessons that we came to learn and these lessons are going to be learned and you know, wonderful, wonderful. What is happening is that time is about and the obstacles and the blockage and the things that you have created, the illusions that you were create, these karmatic situation that you have created in your life is about to clear up. And this is very good. This is extremely good because what is happening is that people are learning things. People are understanding. You are learning things. You are understanding what you have created, why you have created. And this is going to be wonderful for you as a person to learn that life is full of a lot of surprises and what we give out and what we clear in our lives that is what we will get back so i am ending this with a wonderful message and the message is that love is the only thing that is real okay love is the only thing that is real whenever we understand that love is the only thing that is real we can understand that whatever energies we give out whatever energies we send to other people that is exactly what we're going to get back so if you create conflicts in your life what is going to happen is that that same energy so i would say to you let go of whatsoever conflict was there let go of what you had um brought in your life because you needed to learn that lesson and this is how the universe um let you learn lessons and yeah it, it wasn't very hard lesson for you but yet still you are going to 
overcome whatsoever but yet still you will learn a lot of things and you will realize and make sure that this lesson is well to learn because if you got another lesson um, like that it's going to be much much harder because each and every time the lessons become much much harder so whatsoever you had gotten yourself in whatever situation that was vibrating around you something happened and this lesson is something that you needed to learn okay but make sure that you have learned it and never again you're going to make a decision like this because this is just not um the right thing to do because uh, um, you know, we're all, we're all here on a journey. We're all here on a journey and it's a wonderful journey. It's a journey when we are aware of who we are and the true beam we are as a person. This is wonderful. So be aware that life is full of a lot of surprises and namaste until next quarter.